Hi, this is Charles Brownstein, and you're listening to Northern Transmissions. This episode features the Baltimore, Maryland band Lower Dens. I had the chance to chat over the phone with Jeff, the bass player, while in between dates on tour with Cass McCombs. Let's uh, start off with a song right away. This is the track Blue and Silver off the 2010 album Twin Hand Movement. And that was the track Blue and Silver, released on the Nomen Song label, which is owned and run by the Vander Barnhart. I started the interview by asking Jeff how the band got involved with the label. Um, well, that's basically, I mean, um, Jana would be a better person to answer that, but I can, I mean, I can definitely answer that question. Um, but basically, I mean, her, it, she... Before I knew Diana personally, she had, like, a working relationship with Devendra. I'm not sure entirely how they met or, like, when they first collaborated, but um, I know they did, like, they did, like, a split uh, release together. And then I guess when he uh, started that label, um, Diana was, was one of the people that he approached about wanting to release her album. So uh, her albums, I mean, her both her solo albums came out on No Man's Song. Um, and, um, and so when when I started working with her in Lower Den, No Man's Song was still interested and in, in wanted to put out the new uh, album 
with the band. Um, so sort of, sort of, it was a relationship that, that started with Jenna and Devendra and just sort of continued when she formed Lower Death. And the Jana that Jeff was referring to was, of course, Jana Hunter, the singer-songwriter from the band, who was recovering from just having her tooth pulled. Ouch. We talked a bit about the recording process of Twin Hand Movement, and it was kind of, kind of took a long time. It was done over a two-year period. So, um, yeah, um, Jeff elaborated a bit about that. Uh, yeah, it was it was intense. I mean, we worked really, really very hard on it and kind of nothing else, um, you know, in the months leading up to recording it. And then uh, uh, the actual recording itself, I mean, you know, it was was um, pretty standard, I guess. You know, we, we, took a, we took a few weeks and were in the studio every day. Um, but I would say that, that the lead up to that, you know, we worked. We were just working night and day on it, and like and just trying to get it exactly the way we wanted it to be. Yeah, it sounded like a real, you guys really put your nose to the, you went underground for like a year and just got right down to business on that. Yeah, yeah. Cool. It just, yeah, things just sort of came together that way. Like we all found that we were ready and, and excited to kind of work that hard on, exclusively on that. Here's Jeff talking about um, how the band has been labeled with many different sounds, um, including everything from drone pop to new wave. You know, sort of understand that that uh, the music journalists have to like kind of put a genre to things, uh, but um, some of them are are really odd. I guess we get really confused, and we still get called. We still get uh, freak folk or folk sort of attached to us every now and then, and that's just really kind of, you know, that's, that's kind of a head scratcher. I mean, I'm, we're, we're definitely all into folk music, but I just wouldn't call what we do folk. Uh, for, to me, for what seems like pretty obvious reasons. You're listening to Northern Transmissions, and I am, as always, Charles Brownstein. Let's check out some more music from Lower Dens.
and that was the track Hospice Gates off the 2010 Twin Hand Movement album. And we talked a little bit about the inspiration behind that track. I don't want to be too specific about it, I guess. Well, for me, the, that song is sort of inspired by um, sort of mixed feelings of um, falling in love with somebody um, and being caught between a place where you want to trust them, but at the same time it, it's dangerous, the sort of ensuing vulnerability, and kind of all of that against the backdrop of um, kind of a contemporary society in which it's difficult to have a handle on what's healthy and what isn't. We talked about a little bit about the band's um, relentless touring schedule. Um, they have sometimes played nine to ten nights in a row, uh, which obviously can be pretty taxing. And an interesting story about the time they almost got caught in a forest fire. I hate to deflate the rumor because it sounds really exciting. We weren't really caught, um, but we did all of a sudden, we are driving along on tour, find ourselves surrounded by smoke and fire. Um, this, I think, God, where was that? That was like in the Midwest somewhere. Um, but yeah, there was what seems like some sort of crazy forest fire going on all around. But we got through it. I don't think we were ever in that much danger. I mean, you know, any, any touring band will tell you that it definitely adds up and you get worn down. Um, but I guess all in all, uh, keeping moving and playing shows every day, it's sort of a combination of being tiring and being kind of invigorated.
And thanks again for listening to Northern Transmissions. That was I Get Nervous, once again off the Twin Hand Movement album from the Lower Dens. With the banding on the road right now with the multi-talented Cass McCombs, we talked a bit about their uh, relationship together and how the tour has been going so far. Oh, he's incredible. Um, I mean, he's, he's and the, the band that he's touring with now is really amazing. One of the best things, one of the best like get, like uh, collections of musicians that I've seen in a while. I really, really highly recommend like to anybody to go to go see this this new band he's got. Right. Um, and we we just really love his new album too. Um, oh. So yeah, I don't know. And he's he's great. We're kind of in awe of him, but you know he's he's a really good guy to be trying with. Yeah, he seems. Like, I saw him in Vancouver, and he seems like a real uh, perfectionist as a as, as a musician. He seems uh, he seems pretty intense. Yeah. Yeah, I think he is. I think he's really, he's, yeah, I think he's a bit of a perfectionist and pretty backing, but um, I think we can relate to that. We sort of have a similar approach. So, cool being on tour with them, I think, like, so far it seems like we, we get we get that about each other. Next, we actually talked a bit about, for all you um, geography buffs, we broached that subject um about the bands uh, being from Baltimore, Maryland, and the music scene there, as well as, interestingly enough, uh, Jeff's travels to the Antarctica. I think it's one of those things, like, you know, you read about a lot of other times and places in music where, you know, like, Detroit in, like, the 60s with Motown, and then, like, kind of New York in the 70s with punk and stuff like that. Um, where people just sort of described that they were like, felt like they were in the right place at the right time. There was a combination of social elements and people who really cared about music all sort of working very cooperatively and encouraging each other. And that sort of creating a scene, you know, where everybody's excited to be doing what they're doing. Um, and I think that that is the case with Baltimore. And I think it's also, it's not a coincidence that, you know, those other two examples I mentioned, like, those were cities that, you know, weren't necessarily, like, financially that well off. But, um, and I, I think in a way that contributes. I think when you have um, a lot of people who don't have a ton of money, um, but there's like a good urban space for them to sort of use that is kind of can lay the groundwork for um, a movement, you know, because a lot of artists can move in there and they can have large warehouses to experiment in and, and you just, you get something interesting. And the last, if you want to, I know you, you spent some time in Antarctica, right? Oh yeah, I did, yeah. How, how was that? <laughs> It was um, it was a lot of hard work, and it was really cold, and it was wild, and it was beautiful, and I'm 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 glad I got to go. Um, I'm not sure I would want to go back, but um, I really enjoyed the 24 hour a day sunshine. That's incredible. The job that I got down there wasn't doing science; it was doing kind of support work for the scientists. Because I don't have any kind of science background, um, so I was basically in a, a manual laborer. Um, and, but did get to meet like a, a lot of scientists doing really cool projects. Everything from like pen penguin biologists to like people studying volcanoes, to people studying um, these like tiny little microscopic worms. Wow. There's like there's like this one area in Antarctica where there's dirt instead of ice, where, where the dirt outnumbers the ice, and um, there are like these weird little microscopic worms that live in the dirt, and uh, I, I, spent, I spent some time out at a field camp where they were like trying to find these worms and like trying to figure out what was making them live and stuff like that, and that was actually like pretty fascinating. 
Because you're in this, like, totally alien world where there's, like, no plants. But still, there's, like, this form of life out there. And it's, like, it's pretty, you know, pretty, pretty incredible. Like, I, I think the biggest thing I took from Antarctica was, like, living in a place where there really wasn't that much life. Um, and then you come back to anywhere and you realize there's life everywhere, you know, like bugs and plants and weeds and germs and just, you know, it, it's all over the place. Thank you very much for tuning in to Northern Transmissions. Um, I'd like to thank, as always, um, the whiz, the man behind the board, the guy who puts it all together, Andy Kalstrom, wouldn't happen without him. And, of course, Jeff from the Lower Dens, and you should catch them on tour because it's a great double bill, them and Cass McComb. So uh, check out their MySpace for dates. And I'll leave you with the track titled A Dog's Dick off the 2010 Twin Hand Movement record. Bye.